Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So I'm back with another unboxing and first impressions, and this time it's the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite, the little brother of the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. So I had the Note 10 Plus, I got it when it came out, I ended up trading it in when I got my S20 Ultra, but I saw this at CES and I've really been interested in it, and of course I love this red color that it has on it. So before I go on too much, we're gonna get into the unboxing. So I do wanna say, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates on new videos. Now let's see what's inside the box. Alright, so here we are with the Note 10 Lite. Now, I have the Aura Red model, but it also comes in Aura Black and Aura Glow, so three different color options. It MSRPs for a little less than 500 US dollars. I picked mine up for, I believe, 479 on eBay, and I got the 8 gigabyte model as far as the RAM goes. So it does come in two different RAM configurations, either 6 gigs or 8, and regardless of which one you get, it does have 128 gigabytes of onboard storage. Now, let me go ahead and use my handy dandy unboxing tool here so I can go ahead and open the box. And of course, I close the knife back and lock it because safety first, always safety first. So let's go ahead and take the box off and have a look at the phone on the inside. So the first thing you're gonna notice, of course, you see the phone there, you've got the little accessory box in the top. We'll get to that in a second because of course, why would we wait to look at this beautiful red phone? So it has the sticker information on the back. You can go ahead and pull that off. It's a really, really sharp looking phone. Now I saw this phone, like I said, at CES and there's some magic there. I <laughs> pulled the stickers off, but I saw this at CES and I totally loved it and couldn't wait for it to come out in the US so I could get my hands on one. I actually shot the original footage when I took a look at this at CES with my Note 10 Plus. So it's kind of like, hey, little brother Note 10 Lite. So on the bottom, you can see you've got the headphone jack hooray, the USB-C connector, and then one downward firing speaker, and of course the stylus, which is color matched to the phone. So we've got the red stylus, the red phone. Now it's not exactly the same color red, um, as maybe they would have had to make it kind of a glossy look, but either way, it looks really nice. Now here's the camera setup on the back. It's got a really impressive camera setup. So what you're looking at here is a 12 megapixel primary shooter with a 12 megapixel telephoto and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. So you've got three cameras and an LED flash on the back capable of shooting 4K up to 60 frames per second. And it's got gyro and electric uh, electronic image stabilization. So you've got a lot going on there with regard to uh, capabilities. Then you've got the microphone spot on the top there. And on the side, you've got the SIM tray, which is where you can pop the SIM and an SD card in there. Really, I think they did a solid job with this phone as far as construction. It's got the peephole camera on the front, which is a 32 megapixel uh, camera, and it's no slouch. Actually, I shot the last two videos that I did using the Note 10 Lite, so if you wanna go take a look at those, I mean, it's just some talking head A-roll, but uh, pretty neat that you can even use it for stuff like that, and ta-da, it comes with a case. So it's really nice that they went ahead and included that. And I'm not too crazy about the case. I actually ordered a Spigen one that I'm using right now. But with regard to them throwing one in the box, I think that it's totally cool that they did that because of course everyone wants a case and it still has the film style screen protector installed on the screen already. So you've got everything you need straight out of the box and you don't have to worry about putting the screen protector on yourself. Now inside that little box on the top, there's like a little insert in there, not a whole lot, and it has the SIM card, uh, the SIM removal tool inside of there. Now on the bottom, we've got the adapter, which is fast charge, so you're good to go there. You can see what it says on, on the front there. Super fast charging. So it is five volt, three amp, which will get you recharged quick, fast, and in a hurry. And also inside the box, uh, you can see right there, five volt, three amp. And then inside the box, we've got also the USB-C to USB-C charging cable. So it's not a USB type A to USB-C, it's just straight up USB-C across the board, which is pretty on par with Samsung phones in 2020. And then we have a set of earbuds, which of course, uh, those have the 3.5 millimeter connector on them, not a USB-C one, which will plug into your headphone jack, ta-da. So I, they're not the most expensive or, or fancy looking earbuds that I've ever seen, but 
uh, at least they throw them in there and that's a lot more than we can say about a lot of phone companies nowadays so totally glad that's in there and then the last thing I want to highlight here inside the box is it actually has interchangeable stylus tips that you can use for the S Pen. So if you want to change it up and for a different you know, feel or function whenever you're using the S Pen with your note, then you can go ahead and do that. Because you know not everybody likes to use the same tip on their S Pen. So you've just got the different options in there as well. And also the removal tool so you can pop them in and out of the S Pen. So that's a nice feature to go along with everything else in the box as well. All right, so here we are with the Note 10 Lite. So it comes in this aura red color, and I really wish that they had it on the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus when they came out. Not that they weren't okay colors. I had the white one that looked really cool, but this right here looks really good. And actually, I have a Spigen case on here right now. I don't really like the one that came with it. I mean, it's nice that they throw it in there, but it's a little on the flimsy side. I picked this one up for like 10 bucks, but you can see here, it's really just a beautiful phone. I mean, it looks good. And I kind of like the way that they did things. It looks kind of like a baby S20 Ultra. I mean, it's got the bigger camera module on the back here and you know, squarely in the, in the top left part of the phone, but it looks really good. I've been using it for the last couple of days. And I mean, yes, it's slower than like the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, of course, because it doesn't have the latest, well, last year's latest processor, the Snapdragon 855 but this one has the Exynos processor in it. I got the version with eight gigabytes of RAM. They have one with six gigabytes of RAM, which is a little bit cheaper. Uh, I picked this one up for like 479, but I feel much happier with the purchase on this phone than I do with my Note 10 Plus when it came out. Yeah, if y'all seen many of my videos, you know I'm really not a big fan of thousand dollar phones. So when you can get this, which still has the perfectly functioning stylus, it's the same stylus that's in the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, it just doesn't have the motion gestures, which I didn't use anyway. So if you want the motion gestures and you feel like paying the extra money, you can of course go that route if you'd like. But I really think that it's a solid phone. It's made out of the glastic material. It's like a glass infused plastic together. So it's more lightweight, but it's still really durable. And yeah, it's just a solid phone. Now, it doesn't have the dual you know, speakers where it has a stereo speaker at the top. You only get the mono firing speaker down on the bottom, but sound is adequate. So it has the optical fingerprint sensor in it. It's not the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor like they have in the Note 10, the Note 10 Plus, and also the S10 and the S20 models, but it's still perfectly secure. They have it in a lot of their devices. It does have facial recognition, so you can take a look at it and it'll unlock the screen. That works fine too. It's not as good as like Face ID or the facial recognition on the Pixel, but it works about on par with the S20 Ultra and the S10 and the Note 10 series devices as well. Um, it has a really big screen on it, which is nice. It's only 1080p. It's got a 6.8 inch screen, which is really, really big for a sub $500 phone. And I, I've really been enjoying it. Like, like I said, it's not the super fastest in the world, uh, it's still more than adequate. When I looked at the benchmark stuff, it looks like it kind of falls a little bit slower than the Snapdragon 845, which is the flagship processor two years ago. Uh, I did get over six hours of screen on time. Uh, the, the second day that I used it, the first day, of course, you're installing everything and downloading stuff. So that day is kind of a wash. Uh, but over six hours screen on time with the brightness, not on adaptive brightness, around 85%. So I've been happy with that as well. Um, yeah, overall, I, I think it's solid. I think so far it's totally worth the you know, less than $500 price tag, even at 500 bucks. You know, there's not a whole lot in this price point that offers a stylus. I mean, if you want a stylus, you basically get the Note or you get the LG Stylo. So I think that it's cool that Samsung went ahead to acknowledge that there is a market for people who don't want to have a $1,000 phone just so they can get a stylus and they may not want to buy last year's model or two years ago's model just so they can get one cheaper because you never know what you're going to get. You have to get it renewed, you have to get it refurbished, or you're going to pay too much money and buy a new unboxed one. Anyway, just, just don't go that route. But yeah, so this is my impression so far. I think it's good. I think it's solid. I'm definitely going to test it out more and my review will be coming later, but I wanted to go ahead and put together this unboxing and first impressions just so you could kind of get a feel for it, see what's going on, and take a look at this gorgeous phone because, I mean, 
really it is gorgeous. So that's all I've got. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. Like I said in the beginning, if you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here and I'll see you guys next time.